All right, so I'm working on the uh, exhaust today. I uh, I got the stock manifold in there. I got the uh, flange turned and everything, and then I got my first piece cut and welded to cross over underneath the bell housing. So this side over here, you, you maybe you can see it from there. I don't know. So I cut the flange off of the manifold and then I added a wedge on the outside edge of it and I also had to turn I had to rotate the flange so that it would clear this this portion of the subframe so yeah you can see the wedge in there and then so that way everything will clear over here on the subframe gives me just enough room to come across uh, without hitting stuff. The pipe actually comes across, fits pretty nice under here. It's a little bit lower than the oil pan or the transmission pan, but I don't think it's any lower than the frame or the cross member or the front subframe cross member so i think it should be pretty good uh, and it's out of the way of the wonder the bolt on wonder if the bolt on the flex plate are gonna hit it though ah they shouldn't it's pretty far away so let's see where we're at here Looks like my gears are showing up. Oh yeah, here come the 410s. So I guess I should show you guys some of the stuff I've been ordering and buying to put into this thing. These are the same end as this, same connector as this on the Holly, the handheld. So this is the end. If you build a cable, they have the USB cable there he goes USB and then it goes down to a termination like this to plug into the Holly cable. So I bought, I was able to find these online from a place, I think out of New Jersey. So I got them and then I found out, oh, I, you know, I was thinking they would come with the four pins for each one, but they didn't. So I've got pins ordered and they're on the way, but that's the sealed connector that matches this black one. I just got them in white instead of black. I could have got them in black, but what the heck. But they were really kind of difficult to find. I don't know why, but they were. So that's the the can connector. connector. And then, uh, let's see what else I got. Well, I figure I'm gonna be putting the turbos on, so I need a feed. So I'm gonna use a Dash 4 feed. I'm going to try a dash 4 return as well, but if that's not enough, I'll change it to a dash 6. But so I ended up, I got the ICT billet uh, takeoff. And then uh, I got two of these. They're the, the dash 4 flare to 8th uh, MPT. I ordered two and they ended up, they were the four dash four or uh, dash four to quarter MPT. So they wouldn't fit into here. So I got, I got one used coming. So it should be here probably I think tomorrow or something. So I'll have those and then I'll make, I got some dash four line and I'll make a dash four uh, feed for the turbos. And then, um, I've got a quarter to dash four, and then I've got a quarter MPT drill and tap to basically drill and tap to put this into like the oil pan or the front timing cover. And then have, I've got a Y coming that'll Y down from two lines into this one to drain back. And if that's not enough drain back, then what I will do is 
I will change that fitting to a six and then I'll run a dash six uh, return off each turbo. And then I got a, this is the, uh, the crush sleeve eliminator kit for the rear differential for the 10 bolt. Um, this is the screws and the O-ring that come with the ICT billet adapter. And then these are the two quarter amputee to dash four that I messed up and got the wrong, wrong thing. So I got all that. I need to be able to get up into the converter for cruise and be so that I'm not adding too much heat to the transmission when I'm cruising. So that's why I went ahead and I ordered these gears. Come on. Oh, go figure. It's got the staples. Staples. So this is like the cheapest inexpensive set that I could get with the install kit with the bearings and stuff uh, off of Amazon actually I uh, used to order dang near everything that I bought off of eBay but with all this COVID-19 crap uh, eBay shipping times are ridiculous lately and I'm tired of waiting for parts. When I order a part, I want them and I want them pretty much now. Because that's the standard, right? I want my stuff and I want it now! So, yeah. USA standard gear. Woo! See what we got in here. All right. So this should be an eight and a half ten bolt. So I got a master kit for the eight and a half ten bolt. Ooh, look at that! It gives me a paintbrush. It gives me all the stuff. I got shims and bearings, and I got new bolts for the ring gear, and I got seals. Oh, and there's a gasket for the pan. Woo, all good stuff. So I'm going to put this all in there. I'm going to change my gear ratio to 410 or 411 or whatever it was I bought. I don't know. It's pretty, pretty close. Ah, yeah, that's the heavy part of the box. Another box to open. Yeah, yeah. It's like Christmas all over. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. By the way, I love this shirt. I wear it a lot. Because I love it a lot. Reminds me of what I'm doing with the car. Automotive chaos theory. Woo! Does it even say on the box what it is? Yep, there we go. See, there we go on the box. Eight and a half, eight, six, four, ten ratio. So here's my four, ten gears for the bird. Ooh, I'm excited.
Well, I killed my Harbor Freight Chicago Electric Professional uh, grinder. I think that wore the bearings right out of it. It's hotter than hell. I'm surprised it hadn't caught on fire. So I guess I'm gonna have to go buy me another angle grinder. I was in the process of working on uh, working on my wastegate because uh, my wastegate's huge. I got a 60 millimeter wastegate and. This is the, the flange for it. So what I was thinking is I would cut an angle out and I would put it down here somewhere. Maybe, maybe try and come underneath. Try and come underneath this turbo here. Cause I think what I want, see this, this pipe that I got is also the right size for the uh, pipe off the wastegate. So that'll be cool. But I put the V-band, clamped it on here. And so I think what I want to do is I want to come probably as close as I can. Maybe what I might be able to do, because these are T3, T4 flange. And I think if I just weld this pipe to that pipe underneath the bottom there, I think that might get in the way of the wastegate. So... But if I come up just a little bit, I could weld tabs on and then bolt the tabs right into that turbo flange where I'm not using the T4 section, I'm using only the T3 section. So that could, I mean, I could get some support that way because I want it, oops, I went my other flange. Uh, I want it to kind of, I, I want as little to stick out of the hood as possible, really. So... I can I can weld on some flanges or some some uh, tabs that, so I can bolt that to that flange. That'll help support that really strong because this turbo is freaking heavy as hell. So uh, on top of that, I'm probably going to have to make a bracket that goes and bolts down onto the frame to support it as well at the same time. But I think I'm going to come off of this with a 90 degree and then put my other turbo flange. But it may, it may not be high enough for me to do that. I don't know. We'll see. Because it's going to, I really need it to be up off of the frame. You know, so I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work. I may have to, I may have to rotate this up enough to, uh, to be able to have enough room for the 90 to go onto that flange. But I kind of want that turbo to face that direction uh, that way. And if I have, I, I mean, I don't know that I'm going to even have room for this wastegate over here because it's so friggin' huge, you know. But I might be able to sneak it in on the side over here, maybe. I don't know. I'll have to figure something out because I want to put that wastegate... I mean, if I put it over here, right, then I can wastegate quite a bit of pressure. And the turbo's already got wastegate in it. And, of course, it follows path of least resistance. So, I mean, I don't know. I guess worst case scenario, I could slap it on my log over here, you know, as far forward as possible. But, but I think that's really going to be, like, right in this area. So, I don't know. Maybe I can slap it on there keep it under the hood that way and then just go straight over to the exhaust pipe going out the fender or something I don't know maybe wastegate wastegate it into the small turbo there but then I'd need another wastegate I need another wastegate if I did that I would need another wastegate somewhere Somewhere on this pipe going to the big turbo. But 
I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. So, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I, I keep wanting to get to the track, and I keep not getting to the track. So, I'm really trying to push to, to get this setup done, and then figure out how to tune it, and then be at the track this weekend, because, you know, on Friday... And then Saturday, there's another burnout competition like I did the last time. So I'd really like to be able to do that, you know. Uh, I'd like to take first place this time instead of instead of freaking third place. So anyways, oh man, I got to I got to turn this camera in too. Look at how many. Look at all the spots on that thing from grinding into it. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so... I really need to turn my camera in. Oh yeah, that's horrible. I need to put my I need to turn the camera in for warranty. Whatever. I need to do a bunch of stuff. But the big thing is I want this thing to run. I want to be able to tune it with the turbos. Get out of there, moth. I don't want to suck up no dang moths in my turbos. But it looks like all of this is gonna is gonna actually turn out alright. And I just about got that clocked right i'm gonna have to clock this intersection a little bit more vertical i think so it's gonna have to turn uh counterclockwise from the way i'm looking at it now um yeah if i lift if i lift the front end and it comes slamming down i don't want all that weight lever in on this turbo and crap you know on that log it's already heavy enough on that log so I really, really am just trying to, I'll probably have to get a, a turbo wrap for this hot side so I don't melt the lower radiator hose and and stuff like that because I'll bet you that baby's going to get hot. And then this guy's going to get hot so I'll need to probably a turbo blanket on it too. A turbine blanket for here, a turbine blanket for here. Tomorrow, I'm going to get this wrapped up on the hot side, and I'm going to start on the cold side. So the radiator probably have to come out so I can figure out how to mount in the intercooler. And this pipe should be pretty simple, and because these are pretty close here like this. And then I think I'll take that filter, maybe see if I can fit it on, on here. It might fit on that turbo, so I don't suck any dirt in it, and then I can... I don't know, maybe get a screen for it for the track or something. But then I've got to start on, I've got to start on the oil feed and oil return as well. So, should be interesting. Should be cool. I think most of this, I think most of this should sit beneath hood level. I'll have a little come out here, I think on the 90. And I'll have this little bit, and then I'll have like maybe, I'm thinking like maybe like that much of that turbo sticking out. So if I make a nice scoop dome, teardrop open on the, on the end, it'll help bring some air in and over the, the hot side and down uh, across some of this exhaust. And then that should all exit out the fender. So that, that should help, I think. And it looks like I've got plenty of room to clear the tire. I'm really hoping uh, when the tire's all the way to the left and you're bouncing up and down, I, I hope it clears that turbine housing. So, anyways, that's where I'm at. I'm rambling, really rambling. Do a little every day and go a long way, you know. I don't know. I don't know. That seems... I, I just... I don't know, I feel like that saying is kind of cheesy. I've been saying it since I started pretty much. But I think it's kind of cheesy. But really, if you go out and you work a little on your stuff every day, you're going to actually end up going farther than you thought. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to quit rambling now. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.